It's Saturday, February 27th. I'm Simone Robinson. And I'm Anthony McKenzie. Welcome to PVP TV UK. People are saying, and I heard it on the radio, they are saying that the Privy Council says this and the Privy Council says that. To help with the Privy Council, the Privy Council is in England. They don't know what is happening here. It is a different situation in England from what is happening here. Retired policeman Radcliffe Lewis wants the nation's judges to be dread in handing out sentences for murder and gun-related offenses. Lewis, who retired at the rank of senior superintendent of police in 2013, said that a lot of the sentences being imposed now are too soft and argued for tougher penalties against gun crimes and murders. 50 years, no parole for a gun crime. Any, any offenses involving gun crime. And that is what I want government to do. Also, but judges can make law. I know you know that when judges sitting on the bench, they are powerful and they can change law and they can make law right there. There is a law which is of emergency, you know. That is a law, you know. And one judge is a virtual marriage. So change it completely. So they can change that. So gun crime. Pick the maximum you can do is 50 years, no problem. Don't give them life sentence. Because when they get life sentence, they do five years and three years with good behavior, they come back up. And, and, and then they come back up with the same year. Jamaica's nightly curfew expired on the 24th of February and the country was present with same hours as before. It was reported that the curfew would start at 8pm last night Wednesday, the 24th of February, 2021 until 5am this morning. These hours will continue daily and ends at 5am on Monday, the 1st of March. Ten persons are still allowed at public gatherings until the 28th of February. The Education Ministry advised schools that only the students who are preparing to sit their exams at grades 6, 11, 12 and 13 should be in face-to-face -face classes, and all other students should stay connected through the online setup that was established, along with the distance learning modalities. Under the disaster risk management, the government will announce other measures that are due to expire on the 28th of February. They will be made in short order. They will take effect on the 1st of March. Prime Minister Andrew Holness encouraged people to stay in their homes as much as they can and reduce movement to only the activities that are essential, as they help to do their part in curbing the recent increase of COVID-19 cases in Jamaica. In our local news, a neighbor has spoken of her terror after violence erupted at a home in Smethwick, Birmingham. Never had issues like this before, and I have lived here since the houses were built three years ago. Last night I was scared as I didn't know what was happening and the police wouldn't tell us. They would just walk us home from the top of the estate if we needed to get back home. But I think we'll make the estate a lot closer, because we will look out for each other even more now. I just hope the people are okay. We just heard the sirens, and that's when we knew something was happening. One neighbor saw a car parked up about 6 p.m., and two guys walking towards the house, but didn't think anything of it. But police were obviously interested. Then from 11 p.m., the police blocked off the green part of the estate and started to take evidence and photos and they were checking the drains. That's all we know at the moment. No arrests have been made at the moment, but the force believes a white Nissan Cascade that was parked nearby was also stolen during the disorder. Police have said the motive behind the attack is not clear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and send us an email of your stories to pvptvuk24 at gmail.com.